people, what is going on? This is like a spark killer, and welcome back to an episode of Would You Rather? Featuring Katniss Everdeen. Okay. What? It's true. That's that's what you said. Where when we came home from the Hunger Games, she was like, call me Katniss Everdeen for the rest of your life. So Must if I don't, she mandatory. she has to she smacks me. It's it's abusive. So help. Alright, so this, let's just get started. We don't need introductions. Yada yada yada. Would you rather have no hands? Or have a naked fat guy stalking you <laughs> at all times. Wow. I would rather have a naked fat guy stalking me at all times. Because I do everything with my hands. I do all my art projects and everything else. Like, as long as I have a restraining order, I think I'd be okay. That would be weird. I mean, I already kind of stalk you, but I'm not naked. I'm half naked most of the time. And you're not fat. So you're kind of... <laughs> Oh, I'm like 50% there. What would you pick, though? I would definitely have a naked fat guy. I'd, I'd befriend him and have him do stuff with me. But like, dude, you want to edit videos for me? Sure! Because if he stalks me, why not? Go ahead, brother. Oh, I almost picked have no hair. Oh, God! Okay, have a naked fat guy. Oh, look at all these people that want to that want to keep their hands. 132. My hands are so essential. 132,000 people would rather not have their hands. Those people are crazy. Ooh. Which wizard would you rather be, Gandalf or Dumbledore? Gandalf. You shall not pass. Like Gandalf. I like Gandalf, and Gandalf I haven't. The, Gandalf the White. I haven't really done any like, cause on Black Friday I got all of the stupid Harry Potters, so I don't really know what Dumbledore does. Yeah, I don't. I haven't seen any of the Harry Potters. So is Dumbledore the fat guy that says you're a wizard, Harry? Is that Dumbledore? Or is that, or is Dumbledore the guy that's in like the the cafeteria when they're all there and he's like explaining the rules of the school? Is that Dumbledore? I think it's the old it's Ian McKellen, right? I don't know. Let me Not Ian McKellen. Um, Dumbledore. Oh God, Dumbledore. Oh, it's that guy. Yeah. Oh, ew, no. Ew, no, why? Because of his looks. Yeah, he just looks he, weird. I mean, they both look the same. Ian McKellen looks better. And but plus, Ian, Ian McKellen has a better voice. <laughs> we'll say that. He has a better voice. Battle? He has a, Battle? He has a, he has a better voice. See, and I can't voice? even speak right, so obviously I need to be Gandalf. Did you pick Gandalf? Yes. Oh. oh. That's close. That's super close. Would you rather walk a mile across hot burning coals or walk a mile across Legos? Def oh, definitely coals. Really? Definitely Legos. Legos Coles, are so painful. It says not smooth Legos, only the sharp, painful ones. Yeah, like the edges, the, the ones that like sit on their side. I, oh. I get it, but hot burning coals will mess up your feet. Now, I guess this depends. Do you get to wear socks? Because if you wear socks, then Legos are a little bit easier to maintain. And if you wear socks and you go across coals, then it's going to catch fire. Yeah. No, it's I, like... no, <laughs> it's a mile away. I'm definitely choosing. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> It could say walk a mile across Crocodile Island Fest and I'm going Legos because your feet will heal and it doesn't say how long it takes. I could take 18 days to walk across a yeah, mile of Legos. Some people can walk across hot burning coals and not feel the pain. Yeah, that's a myth. <laughs> I've <laughs> seen dry I've, land. No, I've seen Pam do it. Who's Pam? From the uh, office. Oh, I was like, Pam. Who's Pam? <laughs> Pam? Are Pam? you saying Pam? <laughs> walk, so would you pick walk across that or that? I would say walking across hot coals. Are you kidding me? Oh, we've already had this discussion. Get out. We're done. Get. We're <laughs> done. We're done. We're done. If you, I, I can't. You don't want to have hands. You, no, you want to have hands, but it doesn't matter if you don't have feet. Because guaranteed, if you walk a mile across the hot burning coals, your feet are gone. It's searing and just chunks of flesh are falling off. You're gone. I would rather that than Legos. Wow. You need your priority straight at woman. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. Would you rather kiss a hobo or lick someone's dirty feet? Ew. I would rather kiss someone's dirty feet because you can get hepatitis and, like, all that stuff from kissing a hobo. <laughs> this so is no. the first comment says, I'll start with the kiss and we'll see where it leads. <laughs> the next one was, like, herpes. Herpes. Um, yeah, I would rather... And you can get, like, HIV and everything else. But hobos aren't mouth. technically dirty and they're not really disease-infected. What mm -hmm. if... Not true. That's true. Not every hobo is disease infected, but I don't want to take the chance that I'm sure they what if it know. Was, what if it was like a Calvin Klein model that just decided to be a hobo and he was like, I'm out. Then I'm going to travel the world. Definitely has herpes. Okay. That's crazy talk. I'd rather lick someone's dirty feet. 
I'd rather like. What if it was? Yeah, like have you seen the the episode um, where Steve-O was licking that dude's feet? Like no. that, like that Indian guy. Did you Ew. watch that? No, he, I did not. He had like the the stony feet, Ugh. and he, and he was like ah, and then he like immediately vomited. Ew! I think regardless, the situation's gross, but I'd rather not be diseased for life. Oh man, a lot of people have kiss a hobo. Oh god, that's horrible, horrible diseased people. If you were trapped in a cage, would you be be trapped with a tame tiger or trapped with a rabbit squirrel? Um, a rabbit squirrel. <laughs> It's a tamed no. tiger. I would rather be trapped with a t- tame tiger, I guess, but... It's a tame tiger. Like, it's tame. I'm tame means that it's not going to do anything. I'm just finished watching, like, um... The Life of Pi or whatever? I just got bit or whatever. I've just got bitten oh, well, on that, Netflix. Oh, well, that is your first and mistake. I watched several people get mauled by lions <laughs> and tigers, so... Lions and tigers and bears? It's tricky, but, I mean, rabid squirrels, like, rabies are for life, and, like, you could die. They're fatal. So, but, a tame tiger would probably be better. But does rabid squirrel attack you? When it has yeah, rabies, but, does it attack you? Yeah. Or is it just if you happen to get bit by it? I well, know that it if does. You happen to get bit by it, yeah, but they're angry and aggressive, so there is a chance that they would. There's a chance that they would attack you just as much as there is a chance for a tame tiger to attack you. Yeah, so why not do it with a big freaking cat? And That's it could be it could be a little baby tiger, like a little mini well, me. I'm I'm agreeing with you with the tame tiger. I'm voting tame tiger because just tame tiger is freaking amazing. Yeah, see, like nobody wants a stupid squirrel. Squirrels well, squirrels are useless. Not about the squirrels, it's about the rabies. Your rabies, <laughs> you're aggressive. On December 21st, 2012, which has gone by a while ago. Almost a year ago. Can you yeah. believe that? That stupid Mayan thing was almost a year ago. Ha <laughs> ha! The Mayan calendar. Where are we now, losers? On December 21st, 2012, would you rather a zombie apocalypse or an alien evasion? Ooh. Wow. Well, zombie apocalypse means you're going to die. But you could also die in an alien invasion. If it's but like it, the it, world, war of the worlds. But alien invasion. Well, an invasion's not really a good thing. But an alien invasion could 50-50 be peaceful, and they could just be coming to hang out. Zombies, 100% death rate. Like, you're dead. But they could be really stupid zombies that we could get rid of them instantly. See, there's so many different, like, True. ways you could go Like, there's this. I Am Legend zombies, and then, like, Day of the Dead zombies. Yeah, and then there's, like... Yeah, there's, like, Smart... War, War of the Worlds. There's, like, or... Smart and Slow, or Smart and Fast, and you? Smart and... Or dumb and slow and There's dumb and fast. There's so many, like, other, like, instances to these, like, would you rathers. Like, it's so hard. I know. I wish that they gave more, uh, I would say things. I would rather an alien invasion. Because, like, right now I kind of don't really believe in aliens. So if it would happen, then that would blow my mind. Well, what? Not that I believe in zombies. And then they're like, come here, let's... Way ex- crazy. And then they're like, come here, let's experiment you on while you're alive. And then we'll just fillet the flesh off of you. Yeah. I'd rather go out by random things that... I don't know exist rather than dead people. Zach, what are you? Uh, yeah, see, no, no uh, brains. <laughs> no brains. Oh, look at that! Everybody would rather have a zombie apocalypse because I guess aliens would have greater technology, so we couldn't fight them anyway. No. It'd be like Independence Day. Would you rather be blind or dumb? I would rather be blind. Excuse me. What did you do? Cuteness, Everdeen. Would you rather be blind or dumb? I would rather be blind. Excuse me! What did you do? Cuteness, Everdeen. Would you rather be blind or would you rather be I'd dumb? I'd rather be blind. Would you rather be dumb? Is this... Baby? Is this you? Baby? Ah! Baby, I don't know if this is you! Who are you? Ah! <laughs> you don't feel like my wife. Ah. <laughs> um, be blind or be dumb. Dumb refers to the inability to speak. So you go... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's not dumb. That's like mute. Well, is it? Yeah, there's deaf and dumb. Dumb refers to the inability to speak. It says right there oh, on the I thing. Oh, I didn't see that. I was like, what are you making up? No, oh, dumb okay. refers. So yeah, would I'd you rather, rather be blind. not be able to see or would you rather not be able to talk? I'd rather be blind. I don't think I could handle being blind. Look, close your eyes. Ow. See? That's what being blind gets you. Now... Just Not imagine true. that you can't say. You end up Ow. getting used to your surroundings. Like you don't see blind people running into walls all the time. I know, but people can still mess with you. I'd be like, no, I'd rather not be able to talk and just use like yeah, an iPad. People can mess with you when you can't speak. Oh, uh, you carry a little gun, like the little like a flare gun when somebody starts oh, harassing you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
you can carry one of those when you're blind too. <laughs> but nobody would be able to see. You're like pointing it around. You can screw people. <laughs> I would rather be dumb because losing my sight would irritate me constantly. I, you would probably be like, well, this blind person today jumped off a bridge. His name was Zach, aka Spine Killer. He's doing a blog as he was doing. Ah, I'm doing a blog as I'm jumping off the thing. With like a GoPro. Like, guys, this is a horrible. You wouldn't be able to talk. No! Ah! No, I'd be blind. Blind would be able to talk. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to do your commentary. Yes, I would. I'd choose a really, really high place. I'd, I'd skydive. And it'd be horrible because I don't know how to do that, so I'd just tumble out of control. I'd be like, hey, oh, God! What? And like, vomit would just cover the Ew, screen. Uh, <laughs> gross. I'd, I'd rather be dumb. All right. Which, which one do you think they picked more? <laughs> I think a lot of people would rather be dumb as well. I think I'm going to be dumb. Oh, dumb. Like, see, somebody said I can still write down the things I would like to say. Like, I I couldn't handle being blind. If you're, oh, quote unquote, watching this and you're blind, I give mad props to you. You have my respect because that is hard. That is so hard. Would you rather be Chev Chilios from Crank or Chilios or be the, tra what is that? Chilios. Oh, isn't yeah, that, Chilios. isn't that, what's his name? The two things of Jason Statham? Yeah, it says yeah. both of the movie characters are portrayed by, yeah. so basically you need to do thrills to stay alive or be the transporter. I'd rather be the transporter because I would not want to keep my adrenaline up like that. That'd be crazy. Yeah, I would not. I mean, the transporter was intense too. I mean, obviously. Well, I, you just Statham fight. Movies. You just but, fight. yeah, I would rather be able to kick butt than have to know that I have to keep my adrenaline up. And I'm not an adrenaline junkie. Like, I would just like, oh, let's go do this roller coaster. I'm like, ah, I'll sit here and watch the purses. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'll, I'll transport the purses to the end of the line where you will be. Ooh, see? Teleport. Would you rather have the ability to teleport or be able to time travel? Teleport. You would not be able to affect the time-space continuum, so you could go back there and watch Abraham Lincoln get shot in the head. Or... You can go back there and watch Hitler, but you would not be able to do anything about it. You'd basically be like, quote unquote, invisible as you're time traveling. See, it'd be hard because women didn't have a lot of rights back in time. So why would I? Want I to did. Back in time? Hot dog. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> There's no value for any minorities back in time. So nobody who is of any minority would want to go back in time. But with time travel, you almost could teleport. Or would it keep you in this exact same spot? Like, let's say I want to go back to 1961. That would suck here being here because nothing really was around. <laughs> I know. So would you be able to say, I want to go to this location in this thing or like name an event like most time travel things happen? Because you could quote unquote teleport with it. Be like, I want to go back one second and be, be over there. That's true. That's true. But I, I don't know. I'm going to say that that's not a possibility. And I'm going to pick teleport. I think I'd pick teleport too. I'd play tag and just troll people. <laughs> Touch me. Poof. Not loser. It'd make going to work way easier. <laughs> I know. Like, like I've got to go to work. I'm going to wait till there's one minute left. Oh, go. <laughs> I've always wanted to do the, uh, um, like, you know, jumper. Have you seen jumper? Uh, no, but where, I know where he do. sees like the pictures. Like as long as he's thinking of the place, he can go to it. That yeah. would be so freaking cool. Ah, now you're making me want to teleport. Would you rather, you stupid game? Teleport. Stupid. Teleport. A lot of people would rather time travel, so a lot more people are interested in the history. I guess so. I mean, but you'd still age, so you, you couldn't really, like, stay back in time and be like, oh, I just want to watch everything progress. You'd just yeah. sit there and watch it. There's only a couple of historic moments that you'd actually really want to see. It's true. Like the Roman Empire and like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and stuff like that. I mean, it would be ben it could be beneficial because you could go back in time, see what it was like, and rewrite all the history books, and make millions of dollars. True. What financial benefit could you do from teleporting? Is there like a race or something that you could do? Well, I guess I mean, you maybe you could be, be the transporter. It would be more like you, <laughs> you could save money. Like you wouldn't have to buy a car. You wouldn't have to gas. You wouldn't have to fly. Which costs lots of money. So you just be traveled. You'd be more well traveled. Yeah. You'd be like, like I want to go, go to Italy this weekend. Boom. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, I want to go to Italy, but first I'm gonna stop off in Spain. Poof. Hey. Yeah. So I'd still pick teleport. I would probably pick teleport as well, but man, that time trip. Man, I wish I could teleport and time travel. Okay. God, I want both. Would you rather be hunted by Jack Bauer? Or be hunted by Jason Bourne. Who's Jack Bauer? Uh, that sounds funny. 24. Funny. I never watched the show 24. So... I've never... Isn't that um, the guy that played in Apollo 13? The 24 guy? 
I don't know. Stan, what's it? not Stanley Tucci? The frick is his name? I don't know. I'm, I'm okay. Jason Bourne or kill you either way. So I'm gonna say that Jack Bauer is less of a manhunt. Well, Jack Bauer inevitably kills you within 24 hours. Like I think that's the whole point of the show. Oh well, that's not fun. Think, right? Frick no, Jason Bourne well, them. Well, I think that would he would do that eventually. So it's like 24 say, seconds. Dun dun, the shortest episodes ever. But I'm gonna say. Um, Jason Did your Bourne. voice just crack? I, no, I... Your voice just cracked! Uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I bet you wish you were invisible now, teleporter! I, ah! I had a dry cough, you're, and I just, like, swallowed it. No, you didn't. You're Me. you're so cute. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to every commentator's fear of getting that voice choking. cracked. Of, not just, choking! Just hit puberty. Voice crack. Um, so I'd rather be hunted by Jason Bourne, because right. maybe you could be like, Jason, we're friends. You don't remember me, but we used to play pool every Saturday night when we were kids. And would be like, oh, okay, cool. Let's hang out. And then he'd teach me how to hunt. <laughs> All right, last one. Ooh. I'd rather give up my birthday. Cause oh, I, my God. I technically half did this year. I had to work through my birthday. Would you rather give up Christmas or give up your birthday? If your birthday is Christmas, you don't get either. If you don't celebrate oh. Christmas... <laughs> If you don't celebrate Christmas, pick another gift-related holiday, a.k.a. Hanukkah, a.k.a. Uh, what's that? Uh, one ka Kamaza? What's that called? Kwanzaa? That one, yeah. So, would what you rather? So would you rather give up your gift-giving holiday to give and receive, or give up the one where you just receive? No, I love shopping for people for Christmas. Like, she I does. Love it. It's like a hobby of mine. She does. So We're losing can, our house in the next week. I so. could never give up Christmas. I could give up my birthday, but I can never give up Christmas. I mean, a birthday is just another day, really. It doesn't really feel like anything. And at least you get to do stuff like get to see Christmas lights and everything like that. <sighs> so as much as I'm a Grinch, I'd rather give up my birthday because I could celebrate Christmas with you. Yeah. Uh, was that the last one? Or do you want to do one more? Let's do one more. One more is our last one. One more. Last one. Three, two, one. Would you rather... What are you... You gotta pick Christmas. I'm... I mean, oh yeah, give up my birthday. I am picking... Relax. Three, 360,000 people agree. Three, two, one. Would you rather be the last human left on Earth or be dead? The rest of the population is gone. The world is not destroyed, but you have no hope of reviving the human race. Just you and the wildlife. Oh, I I'd be okay with being the last human left on I would be Earth. so alone. Oh my God. I'd pray that the Snow White business works and I'd try to start singing so that animals would come and hang out. I would yeah, go outside I, I with my guitar. I would try to go outside with my guitar. I think if you were the last person left on Earth, you would have a pack of dogs that was stupid big. Oh yeah. You would be like, come my pretties and just dogs all around yeah. you. Just hoarding. You're like <laughs> like locusts that go to each town and just take all the we raw would be meat. A gang. <laughs> a gang of dogs. Until they you could not provide for them and they started to eat you. We could provide. We'd be living with we, all the animals. We who's this we? I'm we, dead. Well me and the dog. You're the last one. <laughs> That's what I mean. We and the me as me and the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> we as we and the dogs. See, I'm not even a blip in her head. Well you'd I'd be the last human on earth. Blah! <laughs> I, yeah, you, you're always gonna die. Like, so why You'd would you take? Why die. would you take all the adventure out of being the last human on Earth? I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. go race a Lamborghini off the edge of Mount Rushmore as my final act of craziness. Right. Might as well. So I'd rather be the last human left on Earth. Boom shakalaka! Three hundred nine thousand people. Uh, so evenly matched, almost. Because some people would not want to be alone. Like, that's yeah, super but, like, lonely. Yeah, but, even if you read the guy's first comment, he's like, you can always be dead once you got bored. It's true. Yeah. So why not enjoy... Most people can't life. deal with that kind of loneliness. Like, I split on the fence. I think a lot of people do. I mean, especially a lot of people are just stay online right now, and just they're alone technically. Yeah, but you can still interact. Like, I'm still talking. Like, my Skype's going off. Like, there's still people talking. Imagine if there was nothing. Well, you could make... You could spend all your time making a robot that could be your friend. 99% of the people aren't smart enough to do that. So you just be sitting here like, ah. Like, or like a pet. A lot of people can relate to pets. Well, the pets would still be around. So you could relate. Yeah, to it'd be like, I am legend. Yeah. But there's no other rest of the world and no zombies. Yeah. All right. So for those of you that have 
commenting abilities with the Google Plus takeover of the world. Also, apparently YouTube said that they did not like, they said that, uh, they didn't say that they didn't like it. They said that the Google Plus system has created more spam on their videos. I'm not surprised. Because that stupid Bob, copy and pasting Bob, that was the worst idea in my life. <laughs> I don't understand why people did that. All right, but if you guys have that commenting ability, tell me which one you would rather. Um, oh, I forgot to do a tally of which, who won. I'm going to say I won. Okay. <laughs> you guys add it up. See who won. Um, but that's pretty much about it because it looks like our time is up. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below whatever you are thinking. Um, who else should I do the would you rather with? Who should be the next guest appearance? And I will see you guys next time. Peace.